Welcome to this webinar about automation in the cloud. This recording is the first installment of a three-part series. In this series, we explore the impact of some of the latest artificial intelligence gains through the cloud and the way it changes how we work in the world today. The three sessions cover a wide range of topics. We start with artificial intelligence and productivity. In this session, we examine the impact of artificial intelligence in the ordinary tasks we work on throughout the day. These task improvements include providing quick response prompts and insights into who and how we collaborate. The second session, we uncover how artificial intelligence is changing automation through machine learning with the growth of deep learning and the greater maturity in the neural network. We explore how this improves accuracy and efficiencies. In the final session, we investigate the new capabilities of Robotic Process Automation, or RPA. This emerging technology streamlines enterprise operations through the automation of mundane, rule-based business process. Hello, my name is Jason Bell. I am a strategist and the chief technologist for Able Solutions. In my role, I strive to craft a vision for innovation for your organization. I seek to achieve this through the development of strategies that leverage a unique understanding based on my 30 plus years in the industry. I recognize and cherish each client's distinct culture and ensure that it's always a part of my approach. You may find me online and on social media at the usual places, Jason Bell on Twitter and Jason Andrew Bell on LinkedIn. For over 26 years, Able Solutions has focused on partnering with customers to develop solutions that deliver business excellence and profitability, productivity, and competitive leadership. We have been a Microsoft Gold Partner since 2001 and provide our customers expertise in all things Microsoft, including Office 365, Power Platform, Dynamics, and Azure services such as machine learning and cognitive services. We are also an Intex partner for enterprise-grade business process automation a Layer 2 partner for data integration needs, and a Veeam partner for disaster recovery, backup, and restore. As an AppRiver Platinum partner, we can provide our customers with advanced mail encryption and mail archive from Zix, as well as provide our customers with discounted Microsoft licensing. Our consultants bring decades of experience through a partnership approach that delivers the right solution for the right price that meets your specific business need. How far along your cloud journey have you traveled? Are you among the two and three North American enterprises who have already rely on the public cloud platform? Cloud-based computing is not the future, it is the present. Gardner expects that more than 30% of technology providers' new software investments have shifted from cloud first to cloud only. As enterprise seeks competitive advantage and reduce risk, Competing without cloud resources is like fighting with both hands tied behind your back. Even if you're already in the cloud, how are you maximizing your existing investment? Security has long been an area used to slow cloud uptake. However, this is, a wrong, is wrong sighted. Security is a significant driver for moving to the cloud. It's no longer enough to lock the front door only. The need to secure apps and data requires investments in native security offerings that extend capabilities beyond just identity and access management. Cloud security is proactive rather than reactive. New regulations require vigilance and zero tolerance for lapses in data control that allows confidential information accessed by bad actors or released into the public domain. The, the sophistication of recognizing the value of content itself and not just where it resides is the new focus tailor-made for the strengths of cloud computing. Acknowledging that all content is not equal and protecting more than access and control is the demand of modern security. Using data is a crucial tool for making decisions. Data has moved to the cloud. This enables the aggregation of many disparate sources of data and new opportunities for analysis. Larger quantities with greater diversity present a considerable opportunity for leaders to see the business in a different light. These new dimensions provide the chance to recognize process failures or flaws and present opportunities for innovation and improvement. As these data sets grow, 
The ability to analyze the data slows the strategic decision process. Extensive data requires more analysis and the addition of computing power. Cloud-based AI provides the means for sifting through mounds of data to establish patterns, anomalies, and variants. Cloud-based computing enables AI at skill, which opens the door to real-time decisions. Dashboards driven by better data delivering alerts and business insights for managers to make crucial decisions at a moment's notice. The power of computing is to alleviate repetitive activities. Automation in the cloud delivers the ability to adjust quickly and achieve the flexibility of DevOps principles. Fast deployments, stable environments, and democratization of technology are part of the cloud paradigm. The Internet of Things allows the automation of cameras, the playing of music, and even the control of household lights. Automation improves process by the reduction of tedious manual work and limits human errors. The improved performance speeds execution times that deliver higher value faster. Freedom from mundane tasks enables the focus on more complex issues that require human insight and direct interaction with customers. The result is higher productivity and value to the customer. Of course, all of this does not matter without adoption. Most are prone to do things the way they've always done it, or the way that poses the least amount of resistance. Change is one of, is one of the most challenging aspects of any initiative. Cloud has built-in advantages over traditional approaches. The small incremental changes that are evolutionary allow for change to happen without user disruption. The underlying tenant of cloud-based solutions shields the platform and the user from big bangs of revolutionary change. Transformation of the cloud is evolutionary. It is an evergreen approach. In the age of the ubiquitous mobile phone, BYOD, and flexible hours and locations, the cloud becomes instrumental in the ability to work outside the office. According to the IDC, 42% of companies polled cited access to data anytime, anywhere as the main driver for moving to the cloud. One of the key areas of growth has been the use of artificial intelligence for productivity. In this session, we'll cover four areas about artificial intelligence and how this has impacted, impacted productivity. First, we will look at a brief history of AI and how it has changed. Then we'll take a quick look at the value of time, the impact of lost focus, and why this means, and what this means for solving these problems. Then we'll look at some of the specific applications of automation and how it delivers impact in the everyday tools we use like email. Finally, we wrap up this session with a look at some of the insights gathered from these tools and how they can help in the decision-making process. Let's start by looking at a brief history of artificial intelligence and how it has been understood in our world today. Artificial intelligence has played a role in pop culture and has often sparked fears prompted on the idea that machines will eventually outwit their maker. Who can forget the 1968 film 2001 A Space Odyssey with a sentient computer named the Heuristically Programmed Algorithmic Computer or better known simply as the HAL 9000. HAL is a dependable member of the crew who is responsible for maintaining ship functions. However, he begins to malfunction in subtle ways, and the decision is made to shut him down. At the height of the conflict, we hear the chilling, deadpan voice of Hal telling the astronaut Dave, I can't do that, Dave, as the astronaut threatens his existence and tries to re-enter the spaceship. Sixteen years later, Arnold Schwarzenegger stars as a cyborg assassin in The Terminator, who is sent back in time from 2029 to 1984 to kill Sarah Connor. With the creation of Skynet, who unleashes machines for a post-apocalyptic future, the idea that a neural network that connects machines will someday destroy all of humanity. More recently, Dominal Gleason is a programmer from a very Google-like company who is invited by his CEO to administer the Turing test to an intelligent humanoid robot played by Alyssa Vankender in Ex Machina. The Turing test was passed with flying colors, so much so that it ignites the human desire for the robot to be free from her imprisonment in the basement, slaying her captor and her savior. Finally, the HBO-produced television show Westworld goes much further than the original 1994 movie written and directed by Michael Crichton. In the third season, 
we are introduced to an all-knowing computer that goes so far as to predict people's actions and their death. The primary tension is created when determining who really is self-determined. And are both host and human really all caught in a loop? Well, let's look beyond ho the Hollywood view of artificial intelligence and cloud-based computing. Without cloud-based computing, the advancement of machine learning and deep learning would not be possible at all. So let's take a deeper look at the real history. Modern AI, AI began in the 1950s with the view to solve complex mathematical problems and create thinking machines. In 1950, computer scientist Alan Turing proposes a test for machine intelligence. If a machine can trick humans into thinking it is a human, then it has intelligence. Later in 1956, John McCarthy coined the term artificial intelligence. And in 1960, the first machine, the Perceptron, learns by trial and error. From the outset, there are two competing approaches. One used formal rules to manipulate symbols, a logic-based approach not at all based on biology. This became known as the good old-fashioned artificial intelligence. The other approach took inspiration from how the brain works and created artificial neural networks, loosely inspired by our brains. This approach still required training using certain procedures to solve problems. In the first 20 years, AI brought much hype and significant government funding. However, in a real-world setting, AI didn't achieve its outcomes. By the 1970s, funding all had all but dried up, research slowed, and the AI community shrank. In the 1980s, improvements were made based on advancement of computing power. Previously difficult problems became achievable and AI seemed promising once again. In 1997, Deep Blue, the IBM chess-playing computer, defeats world chess champion Garry Kasparov. This was still human-assisted AI, but it was a step forward. The first strand of machine learning is evolving. However, the hope and hype exceeded reality. In the 1990s, with the focus on the Y2K bug, resources were diverted elsewhere and AI research again diminished. With Y2K and the dot-com bubble behind us, resources began to focus on the growth of machine learning and the beginnings of deep learning. In 2011, Apple integrates Siri, an intelligent virtual assistant with a voice interface, into the iPhone 4S, interacting without an interface using natural language. Also in 2011, IBM's question-answering computer, Watson, wins first place on the popular one million prize television quiz show, Jeopardy, going beyond just mathematical chess moves. Then, in 2014, Amazon launches Alexa, an intelligent virtual assistant with a voice interface that can compete with shopping tasks. So what's the difference between machine learning and deep learning? Machine learning is a subset of artificial intelligence that includes techniques that enable machines to improve at tasks with experience. Machine learning algorithms are built to learn to do things by understanding labeled data, then use it to produce further outputs with more sets of data. However, when the output is not the desired result, the model must be retrained through human intervention. Deep learning is a subset of machine learning composed on algorithms on an artificial neural network that permit a machine to train itself to perform tasks like speech and image recognition. So how does machine learning and deep learning differ in real world examples? Enter the Chihuahua and Muffin problem. It is difficult for even the human eye to accurately determine the difference between a chihuahua or a muffin. Early machine learning models struggled with the very similar object recognition application. The evolution of deep learning, the growth of learning at scale on a neural network, has provided the means for machines to, to continue to evolve and evaluate and teach itself with more and more examples, thus learning to determine the difference between the chihuahua and the muffin. According to Adobe, when Photoshop was originally released in 1990, it was a major step toward democratizing creativity and expression. Since then, Photoshop has had a profound impact on creativity and even more broadly, on our visual culture. As we all know, image editing is a serious issue and is often used to manipulate or distort the truth. A team of Adobe and UC Berkeley researchers trained AI to detect facial manipulation in images edited with their own Adobe Photoshop product. Researchers hoped to restore trust in digital media at a time when deep fakes and fake faces are more frequent and more deceptive. It could also democratize image forensics, making it possible for more people to uncover image manipulation. 
The team used a convolutional neural network to spot changes in images made with Photoshop's face-away liquefying feature designed to change eyes, mouth, and other facial features. When put to the test, the neural network detected altered images up to 99% of the time. In comparison, people who saw the same photos only spotted the changes 53% of the time. The tool was able to revert images to what it predicted what their original state was. Now, let's consider the value of time. A staggering 75% of workers say they lack access to the latest technology to perform their job efficiently. Add to that fact, 42% say poor workplace technology would be a reason for changing companies. Now, more than ever, productivity is achieved not just through technology, but through the latest technology. With those numbers in mind, consider the fact that we only work on a task for 3 minutes before being interrupted, and then it takes us 25 minutes to return to that original task. More than 25% of employees think email is a major productivity killer. Data would support this as roughly 205 billion emails are sent across the globe daily. However, only a third are actually opened. Email would be the natural source for productivity gains. So now let's turn our focus to some of the practical aspects of artificial intelligence by looking at how productivity gains may be achieved. Many are familiar with Siri, Alexa, or Google. These AI-powered services are now available in the enterprise via Cortana. We all need a personal productivity assistance. This service now offers AI-powered experiences to save time and focus attention on what matters most. Cortana helps increase pro personal productivity for the whole day across both work and life. As hand-free laws have become common, the need for hands-free capabilities abounds. Workers riding in vehicles who still need access and respond to email without taking their hands off the wheel. Microsoft sees Cortana as an ideal scenario for workers who are using their hands but need to access and respond to emails. Users can mark emails they have listened to as read. They can also use voice commands such as delete, exit, next, pause, previous, reply, and skip, as well as flags, flag this email, mark as read, and mark as unread. Play My Emails is available for both commercial and consumer accounts, including Office 365, Outlook.com, and Gmail.com. Cortana is more than just a voice assistant. It's also a more general purpose AI service. By simply including Cortana at Calendar.help as a recipient on your email, Cortana will schedule your meeting for you. Cortana can understand normal scheduling related conversations that people commonly have with a human assistant. You don't have to follow a strict set of command syntax. The service will scan your conversation and offer suggested availability across all users' calendar, regardless of the email platform. You can give Cortana more specific instructions on the meeting type, time, duration, and location. If you don't specify anything, Cortana will use your preferences to determine the duration and location. The briefing email helps you stay in control of your calendar and be intentional about your day. Within the first two hours of your workday, you'll get an email about any relevant items to help you better prepare for the day ahead, including things like outstanding commitments, requests, and follow-ups from other collaborators in email that might have fallen through the cracks, documents related to today's meetings that you might want to review beforehand, and suggested focus time that you can schedule to get help get independent work done. The briefing email looks for actionable tasks in Outlook and includes the top results in the email. This may include any last-minute options to schedule time to focus on deep work or to work through any tasks included in the email. Any existing focus time that's already scheduled is also referenced in this section. Meeting insights help increase productivity via more effective meetings. If these tasks are related to any upcoming meetings, they'll be listed in context with the meeting. Meetings will also have links to any attached or potentially related documents. For each task, you can select to have a task removed from your current task list of tasks it can also be excluded from future briefing emails. This is a valuable feedback that will improve future tasks. The Outlook add-in provides actionable insights to help you stay on top of your tasks and get more done. Meeting Insights shows related files and emails to help you prepare for your meeting or take action after your meeting. AI is, to ab is able to extract valuable information about things like email open rates, showing how many people actually opened your e recently sent emails. It can look for common types of information, like travel plans, 
and assist in ensuring you have allowed enough time in your calendar to get to the airport. AI can also help follow up on requests of, a, of others in the email. For example, it can find tasks based on emails you sent, things like, can you send me this year's latest report, or cancel my RSVP. AI can also help manage your relationships by searching by surfacing relevant information without going to search. The goal being that your information is at your fingertips. Content stored in SharePoint is discovered and presented as potentially important collaboration assets. By now you've seen these small these smart replies. These are not the only not only in email, but they're also in chat sessions and teams. The smart reply allows you to make a quick response and research shows that this feature alone reduces average composed time of an email by 6%. Microsoft Word cannot be left out of the benefits of cloud-based AI. Documents stored in OneDrive and SharePoint now have an at-glance at -glance feature. This, proves, this provides users a peek at important information in the document to help them decide if they want to open it. Combine this with ideas in Word, authors can emphasize the key highlights of their document, drawing attention to the most important information. They also receive key insights on the readability of the document. This, also, this provides key metrics to the content based on the, the time to read or speak. This allows the author to gauge if the content is the right length beyond the old school number of page metrics. We now turn our attention to the productivity gains through insights. As our data and our activities are being captured in the cloud, we are able to deliver insights into the way we interact with users and how we spend our time. Workplace Analytics helps you understand how your organization invests its time by giving you insights into how groups collaborate across the organization. Workplace Analytics quantifies Office 365 collaboration to give business decision makers a powerful tool for evidence-based cultural transformation. Dashboards highlight potential problem areas through guided exploration, while custom queries offer flexible data access to create valuable analysis. By augmenting Office 365 data with business outcome data, Practitioners can identify best practices, develop predictive models, and establish organizational benchmarks. With the help from an Able Solutions expert, you use this data to identify business opportunities, implement change, and measure success. With no insight into how employees spend their time, it is not uncommon for leaders to, to be unable to make informed staffing decisions. New hires are often underutilized even as departments and groups claim to be under-resourced. Insights can reveal true capacity, empowering leaders to make data-driven staffing decisions that, that close the utilization gap and identify groups at being, being at risk for burnout. While workplace analytics allows you to explore the, and diagnose opportunities for, for impact at the organization level using aggregated and identified data, these insights are individually actionable through My Analytics. My Analytics is included for everyone using Microsoft 365, Office 365, or Business Suites with Office of the Exchange Online. My Analytics is personalized, private experience, empowering individuals to master their time by delivering personal productivity insights based on their everyday work in Office 365. It is designed to help knowledge workers get sufficient uninterrupted time to focus, prioritize disconnecting and recharging, managing their networks, and improving collaboration in habits. <coughs> All the insights that My Analytics, My Analytics surfaces are personal and private. Only individuals can access their insights via the <coughs> While Workplace Analytics allows you to explore and diagnose opportunities for impact at the organizational level using aggregated and de-identified data, those insights are individually actionable through My Analytics. My Analytics is included for everyone using Microsoft 365, Office 365, or Boston or, Bo or business suites with Exchange Online. <coughs> While Workplace Analytics allows you to explore and diagnose opportunities for impact at the organizational level using aggregated and de-identified data, those insights are individually actionable through My Analytics. My Analytics is included for everyone using Microsoft 365, Office 365, or business suites with Exchange Online. My Analytics is personalized, private 
experience empowering empowers individuals to master their time by delivering personal productivity insights based on their everyday work in Office 365. It's designed to help knowledge workers get sufficient uninterrupted time to focus, prioritize disconnecting and recharging, managing their networks, and improving collaboration habits. All the insights that MyAnalytics surfaces are personal and private. Only individuals can access the insights MyAnalytics surfaces based on their data. Users receive weekly email digests with suggestions to help them better understand their work patterns and, uh, and ways to improve them. Each week, the focus is on one of the following work patterns. The focus edition helps identify ways to increase your focus hours so you can accomplish deep work and unleash your creativity. See if you're getting a good balance between work and personal time with the well-being edition. Then find ways to disconnect and unwind after hours. Use the network edition to see who's in your network and make sure you're keeping up with your important contacts and relationships. And get tips on how to plan your calendar, spend less time in low quality meetings, and write more effective emails with the collaboration edition. Wellbeing provides insights into focus, well-being, network, and collaboration patterns via a personal dashboard and a weekly email digest leveraging the power of the Microsoft Graft and artificial intelligence to gather and analyze metadata such as time spent in Outlook emails and meetings, Microsoft Teams calls, chats, as well as signals from documents you're working on that are saved in OneDrive and SharePoint. These insights surface inline suggestions in Outlook to help you set aside focus time before your week fills up with meetings, stay on top of tasks and emails, and not lose touch with your key contacts. Thank you for listening to this first installment of a three-part series. In this series, we explore the impact of some of the latest artificial intelligence gains through the cloud and the way it changes how we work in the world today. The three sessions cover a wide range of topics. We started with artificial intelligence and the productivity. In this session, we examined the impact of artificial intelligence in the ordinary tasks we work on throughout our day. These task improvements included providing quick response prompts and insights into who and how we collaborate. In the second session, we'll uncover how artificial intelligence is changing automation through machine learning. With the growth of deep learning and the greater maturity of the neural network, we will explore how this improves accuracy and efficiencies. In the final session, we investigate the new capabilities of robotic process automation, or RPA. This emerging technology streamlines inter enterprise operations through the automation of mundane rules-based business processes. Thank you for your time and attention, and I look forward to hearing from you in the future.